Hey Isabella and Ram, you ladies wanna join me and my daughter for lunch at Cure Sunny Sunrise? Sure, me and my daughters would love to join you for lunch. Same here. Great, our daughters will be out in 5 minutes, alright, we'll wait for them when the bell rings. You who, Kanade son, Isabella son, and Ram son. Oh no, please tell us not. Hi our other mom friends. Um, hello Rena son. I overheard you're going to eat lunch at Cure Sunny Sunrise. I wanted to join you three along with my daughter, so can I join ya? Sorry Rena, but we're going over things from the meeting, so it might be a bit uncomfortable for you, since you're not a PTA member. Kanade is right, you get bored of our conversation that we discussed during the PTA meeting today. I'm afraid we're going to have to say no. What? What are you saying? You're going to exclude me from the group in front of our children. Don't you think that I would set a bad example for them? I don't see the problem with letting me join in for a simple meal. <laughs> we really don't want to invite Rena to join us. Hear why? The last time we invited her for lunch she always ordered a lot of food and left without paying. Instead she made us pay for her own meals. Here's a flashback. Boy, Rena sure have a huge appetite. Tell me about it. She order a bunch of food. And has terrible table manners. Gosh, that was a good lunch. The food was so good that I'm completely full. What about you ladies? Um, was still eating. Oh, your three are still eating. I'll wait for you ladies to finish so we can get the check. Alright. I'll be in the bathroom cause I need to use it. Boy that was good. You say it can aid. I enjoy my food. Me too. But Rena been in the bathroom for an hour now. Yeah, is she okay? We not for sure. We should go to the restroom to see if she's okay. Good idea. Rena, Rena. Rena, are you there? We finished eating our food. We're about to go to the checking to pay. Have you found Rena yet? No, we didn't find her. What about you Ram? Have you found her? No haven't found her, I checked the whole bathroom but I couldn't find her. You guys don't think she left the cafe without paying? What, you think Rena abandoned us to pay for her own meal? Yeah I think so, we couldn't find her anywhere. Hey guys, I just got a test from Rena son. What does it say? She said she have some place to be, and asking us to pay for her meal. What? Rena serious? She left the restaurant and asking us to pay for her meals, that bastard. She ordered a bunch of food, we can't pay for her. You're right, but we have no choice, let's just pay for her bill and tell her pay us back the money we spent on her. Alright. Right. So yeah, that's the whole story on Rena did to us. She made us pay for her meals. This is the reason why we don't want to invite her to lunch, like seriously we're not her ATMs. Sorry, but maybe next time. Come on, what's wrong of inviting me? What did I ever do wrong to you three? We're mom friends after all. You ladies are so awful. Hi mommy. Hi girls, how was school today? Is was good. We have a math test today. We all made a 100 and got a gold star for our hard work. For me, I'm going to have a test tomorrow so I need to study hard tonight for tomorrow. That's great on Pooh. I'm proud of you that you got 100 on your test. I'm proud of you too Molly and Millie. I hope you do well on the test tomorrow. Guess what we're going for lunch today? Where mommy? We're going to Cure Sunny Sunrise to have lunch with Mrs. Hamilton, Mrs. Ouchie, and her friends. Really? We're going to have lunch at Cure Sunny Sunrise. Our friend Candy Guardian owned that restaurant. Well, goodbye, Rena. We'll see you tomorrow. Hi, Mommy. Hi, Mika. How are you? It's great. My poor classmates doesn't stand a chance about me. That's a good girl. Guess what we're going today? What? Are we going overseas? Not this time. Instead, we're going out for lunch with the my mom friends and their daughters at Cure Sunny Sunrise. Really? Yay. I'm getting hungry. Me too, on Pooh Mother is going to treat us that I don't have to pay. Really? Yay free food. Let head to the car and go there. Okay. 
Whoa, this restaurant looks amazing. You say it, this what Candy been telling us about during recess. The food on the mule looks delicious. Yeah, I don't know which food that I want to eat. Hello, welcome to Cure Sunny Rise. What would you all like to order today? We'll be splitting orders. I would like to have a salad with the size of Sprite, please. I want to have chicken sandwich with fries and some juice too, please. I'll have the same order as my sister too, please. For me, I would like to have tomato pasta along with iced tea, please. I want to have burger with fries along with milk, please. I would like to have fried rice along with lemonade, please. And I want to have kids pizza with a milkshake, please. Okay, your food will be ready in a minute. My employees will serve your drinks. Okay, thank you. I can't wait for the food to come. Same here, Mary. I'm so hungry. Us too. Me and Molly can't wait to eat our chicken sandwich and fries and our fruit juice too. Thank, Thank you, you, Molly. You're, You're welcome, welcome, girls. girls. Is that your friends that you're joining right there at the table, madam? Yes, those are my mom friends and my daughter friends. Is it Bella's son, Kanade's son, and Ram's son? How are you? Hi, Molly, Millie, Anku, and Mary. Rena, what are you going here? I'm here to join you for lunch with you guys. My daughter Mika is very hungry and wanted to eat with her friends. Yeah, eat lunch with friends. But Rena, we didn't even invite you or your daughter to join us for lunch. You're not a PTA member. Plus, there's no room for you and your daughter to sit. Oh come on, there's enough room beside Ran's son. My daughter will sit on my lap. My little princess is really hungry right now. Can she hang out with her little friends for me to sakes? All right, you can join with us. As long you promise us not to run off again like you did last time. Got it. I promise won't. Thanks so much. Come on Mika, let's get into our seat. Can I get you something to drink? Yes, I'll have some iced tea and my daughter would have a chocolate milkshake. Coming right up. Thank you. Ha, huh, is that a baby beside that lady? Why yes it is. This is my baby daughter Talula. That baby is a ugly loser. There there honey, don't cry. Is all right. Mika, why call our baby sister that? Yeah, thanks to you she's crying. Apologize to her right now. Why should I? That's my honest opinion. But don't ever call someone's else baby ugly. That was very rude. Mina, you need to teach your child some manners and respect. What? Are you saying my daughter is spoiled? How dare you say that to my little angel? She just saying what's on her mind. Don't be so exaggerated. It's fine, Kanade. I managed to calm her down. Don't worry about it. Oh, all right then, Isabella. See, she is fine, so there's nothing to worry about. This lady is so mean. Tell me about. You couldn't scolded Mika for our baby sister mean names. I will never forgive Mika for hurting our sister's feeling. Me either. I hope mommy stand up for herself. I hope so too. Mommy, I finish eating. Can we go home? I'm still eating, dear. What don't you find something until I'm finished? Okay, I'll just run around the restaurant. Yeah, sure. Do whatever you want. Rena, do you notice your daughter running around the restaurant? Yes, what about it? But people could get annoyed by her shouting. You need to take responsibility for your child action. What? Are you telling me I don't know how to raise my own child? Um, we're not saying that you're irresponsible. We're telling you to convince her to stop. That's all. Fine, I'll deal with her. That would make you all shut up. Oh jeez, this peaceful time is getting out of hand. Tell me about it. I wish we just said no to her in the first place. Yeah, I was assuming this would happen. Boy, our mommies looks miserable. You're right. I think it's because of Mika's mommy. And Mika's behavior is gone wild. Mika's mommy is a devil that treated our mommies badly. Yeah. yeah. Boy, the food was so good. I agree. Candy's guardian is a wonderful cook. I want to eat here again. Us too. Looks like our daughters enjoy their food. I agree. 
Let's wait for the waiter to come. Bah, um, where's Reno? We don't know, did she find Mika? <coughs> Guys, Reno just texted me. What did she say? What the heck? What's wrong, Kanade? Rena did it again. She left the restaurant without paying for the second time and asking us to pay for her again. Is Rena serious? I knew she was using us as her ATMs. If we had knew from the start to begin with, we shouldn't have invited her in the first place. This the last time we invited her to join us. Let's agree to never to invite her to lunch ever again. Agree. agree. I'm going blogger. Same, Same with, with us. us. Molly, Millie, I'm very sorry that you girls have to see me and your friend moms get furious along with your friends back at the restaurant. I know you girls must be feel concerned about this whole situation between us and Mrs. Yamamoto. You don't have to apologize to us. We know how you feel. We know you're feeling uncomfortable with Mika's mommy. Oh, you notice? Yeah, we were worried about you and the other mommies being treated badly by Mika's mommy. Like for example, you turn pale when she approaches you, but you just let her join us instead without saying no. Mommy, can we ask you a question? Sure, what is it you girls wanted to ask me? Did you and the other mommies really invited Mrs. Yakamoto to join us for lunch, or she just forced you to let her join? And she's letting you pay for her own meals. She got money right. Shouldn't she pay for her own? She doesn't like a type of mommy friend for you and the other mommies, to tell you the truth. We don't like her. She looks like a devil inside of her personality. Are you going to let Mrs. Yamamoto use you as her wallet? Well, um, that's quite odd. I'm amazed of hearing such big questions from a four-year-old. Mommy, I'll answer, answer the, question. the question. Oh, all right, I confess. To be honest with you girls, we're not actually mom friends with Mrs. Yamamoto. We never invited her to lunch in the first place. The last time we invited her lunch to she order a bunch of food and left the restaurant without paying. We had pay for her own, but she never pay us the money we spent on her. Me and the other moms got fed up with her using us as her ATMs. We all decided to never invite her lunch ever again, and demanded to pay back the money we spent on her. Mommy, I think it's best if you and the other mommies avoid Mrs. Yamamoto. We're only saying this cause we want you to stand up to yourself. You don't have to pay for Mrs. Yamamoto anymore. Thanks girls, you're right, I don't have to pay for it all, she should pay for her own, I appreciate you both giving me good advice. Anytime mommy, we're happy to help. I've been meaning to tell you, tomorrow is going to be Mori's birthday. Really? How old she going to be? She's turning five this year. Five years old? She getting older? She's older like our other daughters. I know, that's why I'm going to do something special for her. I just made a reservation to special ramen place that she's already wanted to go. She wanted to celebrate her birthday with her friends, Molly, Millie, and Anpu. Ramen, that's a special occasion for a birthday. I'm sure Maori would love her surprise. I thought so too. I can't wait surprise her tomorrow. I set up reservation time to 5 o'clock p.m., so be there by then. All right, we'll be there at that time tomorrow. Yoo-hoo, Isabella son, Kanade son, Ram son. Oh, hi Rina son. Hey, why the cold look? Normally you ladies be neutral. Anyways, Ram son, I overheard that tomorrow is your daughter's fifth birthday and you're going to celebrate birthday at special ramen place. I was wonder if me and daughter could join you to celebrate. Um, no. Why not? Cause I made a reservation only for seven people which is me, my daughter, Isabella her twin daughters, Canadian and her daughter too, so you and your daughter can't come with us. Are you refusing to let me and my daughter to join you? You're ungrateful as mom friend. That's enough Mrs. Yamamoto. Maury. My mommy says no, what's the part you don't understand? Perhaps you're just forcing them to let you join, you're being selfish. We all agree with Maori, if they say no, you have to accept their answers. You're treating our mummies like they're your ATMS, you're a grown up, you can pay off yourself in tent of letting our mummies pay for it. You are horrible friend for our mummies. What did you say, why you little? Come on mommy, let's get out of here. Same you mommy. Let's leave and never see this lady again. Um, um okay. okay. See ya Rina. 
Those little brats. Hi, Mommy. Hey, Precious. How are you? This was great. Good. Guess what we're going tomorrow? Where, Mommy? We're going to a special ramen place for Mori's birthday. Ram's son just made a reservation for us to eat ramen. Really? We're going to eat ramen? Yep. We get there by 5 o'clock tomorrow, and you can eat all ramen you want because Mori's mother is going to treat us. All the ramen I want. Yay. We're here. Yay, I'm so happy. I want to eat all ramen. Of course, let's order every ramen we have. Boy, all the ramen we order is so good. I'm completely full. Yeah, but my other mom friends and their daughters are a bit like that. I'll go call them now. Hello. Oh, hey, Isabella's son. We finished eating ramen at that special ramen place that Ram's son made a reservation. What? We finished eating ramen at that special ramen place that Ram's son made a reservation for Mori birthday. We're full and I'm drunk all. It's already past five. We're waiting for you ladies to come to the restaurant to pay for us. What you talking about, Rena? Which ramen restaurant are you at? Right beside the drugstore down the street. Oh, that's not the ramen place that Ram made reservation. You must have been in the wrong place. What, if this isn't the right ramen restaurant that Ram made reservation, then what ramen place did she made a reservation at? Ram made a reservation to a family's ramen restaurant beside the pizza shop, which owned by my daughter's babysitter's family. What? We're at family's ramen restaurant beside the pizza shop. That can't be, Ram say she made a reservation to a special ramen place down the street. You might have overheard our conversation before approaching us. Wait, who will pay for me? I order a bunch of ramen and sake with me daughter Mika. Don't make me feel embarrassed front of everyone in the restaurant. Like, I don't care, pay it off yourself. I can't, I didn't bring my wallet with me. I thought you and the other moms treating us. First off, we never invited you to join us in the first place. And second, you should have brought your wallet with you. We know from the start you've been using us as your ATMs that we got fed up. You never pay us back the money that we spent on you for every meal you order. The ladies and I are not going to pay off your meals anymore. What? I thought we were mon friends, but I was wrong. I'm in huge trouble here and you're going to abandon me. Well you abandoned us, now we're even. You're so stingy, can't believe me and my daughter Mika. You're the worst damn mon friend I ever have. Right back at you. Me and the other moms will never invited you to join us for lunch ever again. Wait wait Isabella, look I'm very sorry on what I did you and the other moms. If could just come by to the restaurant to pay off our bill that me and my daughter at. I promise I'll pay you back the money. Please help me. Um, no, like I said, that's your problem, not ours. So you're on your own. I'm hanging up now, so don't ever contact me, Kanadi, or Ram again. So goodbye. Hello, Isabella, Isabella. Mommy, what's wrong? Um, is nothing, sweetie. Let's sneak quietly to the exit, okay? Okay. Hold it right there, madam. Where did you think you're going? Get out of my way, you bozo. We're leaving. You haven't even paid for your bill. <coughs> what? That a lot of zeros? How is ramen that expensive? Is because you order everything off our menu along with say. What the age? This is ridiculous. Is this a scam? I know it's a scam. So, you are saying my ramen is a scam? Boss. Boss. Mommy, that man is angry and scary. Sorry about that little girl. I need to have a little talk with your mother. So could you wait here a bit? What? I have nothing to talk about. Shut up. Come with me to my office. No. So Mori, are you enjoying the ramen on your birthday? Yes. The ramen was so good. I enjoyed it a lot. Thank you for taking me here on my birthday, Mommy. You're welcome. Happy birthday. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Wow. Thank you. This turns out to be the best birthday ever. Make a wish, dear. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mari. Thanks, guys. Why don't we share the cake together? Yeah. Yeah. Now this is a peaceful lunch time without Rena. You say Kanadi, Rena was in a lot of trouble at the other ramen restaurant cause she didn't bring her wallet with her. Well is not our problem, that's her own problem, she can able to work things out to pay off her own meals, maybe that will teach her a lesson for making us pay for her bill. Yeah, yeah. 